Hey everyone, welcome back to my tutorial. Today I will show you how to make an NPC that follow player using pathfinding in Roblox Studio Lite. But before we start, I'm gonna tell you about this amazing app called Cloud Moon. If your phone is trashed like mine, but you still wanna play high quality game, then you need to download this right now. Cloud Moon lets you play without downloading, it's super smooth, high graphic, and completely free. So, if you are tired of lag and storage issue, check out Cloud Moon. Alright, let's jump into stripping. Okay, first we need to get our NPC and some important survive. Here we are getting the NPC, its humanoid, and setting up pathfinding survive to generate path and run survive to update movement. Okay, next we will set the primary part network owner to new. Now, we need to find the closest player so the NPC know who to follow. We will create a function for that. First, get our player in the game. The nearest target is the closer player we will find. Mark this then is how far the NPC can see. Next, we look through all player to check the distance. Just make sure the player has a tractor and a humanoid pack, which we need to find their position. Now we calculate the distance between the NPC and the player. We use magnitude to find strength line distance between the NPC and the player. Now we check if this player is close at one so far and if they are alive and if the player is closer than max distance we update the nearest target. This makes sure the NPC always float is closer to living player. And finally we return to the nearest target. If no player nearby, this function will be new, meaning the NPC won't move. Now we need to create a path that all NPC can follow. This function will tell the NPC how to move using pathfinding survive. It calculates a path from the NPC to the player while handling jump and obstacle. Now let's make the NPC actually move by following the path. This function makes the NPC move along the waypoint generated by our path. If the NPC need to jump, it will automatically jump.
finally, we make sure the NPC keep following the player in real time. This function updates the NPC movement every frame. It predicts the player movement so the NPC doesn't fall behind. Let's open Studio Live. Okay, now let's open Rig Builder and we're gonna add a rig. Here, let's choose this one. Now, we are gonna move in here. Okay, now rename this to whatever you want. I will rename it to Test. Now, open this rig open it scrolling down until you find human type and unanchored it okay now add it script to the rig script now paste the script in the description and done here now time to testing and there, now your NPC will detect the nearest player and follow using Pathfinding Survive. And that's all for today guys, thank you for watching, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and have a nice day.